this is the city which made me the person I am today. I remember those times walking across the streets every day, going to class and back home. You know, that tells you that I'm a city boy. And uh, pushing talent back then, it wasn't that easy. My parents never supported anything to do with talent. They believed that their son need to work hard, need to start hard to get an office job, a, uh, an eight to five job, yeah? <laughs> Look at how beautiful the city is. That's my city, my town, Nairobi, Kenya. So, I wanna be disclosing this. Every Thursday, I could go to the Kenya National Theatre, the Factory Club. The Factory Club, if you, if you have ever attended that, then, no, I was your member. I was among you. At that time, I wasn't famous, no one knew me. So I was just another city boy. And high love for that matter, someone um, just there for the sake of passing time. Every Friday, we could go for rave. Does rave still exist? So every Friday, we could go partying. Thank you to my friends, the likes of Atandi, the late Joni, those who introduced me to the ways of the city, ways of the town. Then every Sunday, every Sunday we could go for jam sessions. <laughs> Florida 2000. Yeah, my city, my town. This city looks beautiful. Look at the skyscrapers, the Matatu culture. Though these are the whole system of Matatus. So my name is Gausi, Africa Weber is watching me for the first time. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Anytime I am back to the city, I have to do such kind of a vlog. I have to introduce you afresh to the city. So as usual, I have my backpack with me. I want to be meeting Shabi from the Black Geo. So now I'm picking a cab, either a cab or a bike to Lovington. Lovington is one of the finest uptown. So there was speculations of protest today. That's why the city is not that populated as usual. So I just took my bike to the destination. So that's the matter. This is the modern matter I was talking about. a bike around the city is more convenient, more convenient. You, don't, you don't get stuck in traffic jam you can always use shortcuts so for me it works The graffiti. So majority of matatus in this country are like this. One. I need to do an exclusive video about the matatu culture. During my time as a student, of course, living under my parents' roof. Anytime someone told you that I come from Kilimani, I come from Lavington, then definitely those who are not of your class, you didn't even have the guts to associate yourself with them. Why? Go see Africa, stay in your lens. Door is closing. Go see Africa. First floor. Doors opening. I want to give you a good view of Nairobi from this side. This is Nairobi uptown. So with me, it shall be from the Black Geo. I want to get to know his first impression when he comes to this beautiful city, you know, as a Liberian and an American. He has that unique impression I don't get 
as a resident of this town always so let's get to interact with him and uh get to know his first impression about nairobi once you get to uh this beautiful country bro here we have uh, Shabi from the Black Geo. Shabi from the Black Geo. They like to subscribe to go see Africa. Mm -hmm. What up, bro? Yeah, so I, I was telling them how it is that unique impression someone gets once they get to Nairobi as foreigners. Mm -hmm. Observation you get as a Liberian okay. once you come to East Africa, to Kenya. Uh, well, I'm a unique uh, Liberian. I got the chance to live in um, other countries, especially the US. Mm -hmm. And when you leave the US, and I told you Liberia is more like Mombasa to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I spent a lot of time in Liberia also. But when you leave in America, even an African, knowing about Africa, you land in Kenya, I mean, it's very much similar to where you're coming to. And But you're landing in an African nation, you know, a place that people that look like you. You know, you may speak the language, you may not, but you're landing in a country that's, you know, reflection of yourself. And you see what every country is trying to build. Like, Kenya is one of the leading source um, for us Africans, uh, for world travelers, for business people around the world so you yourself we were just talking about it Lavington, Kilimani there's many cultures here you see a lot of Europeans here uh, Canadians uh, like we said Jamaicans it's becoming a hot spot uh, for everybody to come to um, very accommodationable you see uh, the amenities at every place in this country is very similar to the US and uh, the European countries even the island countries so yes Kenya is becoming the number one source for world travelers and people like the Black Geo to come visit and come move to. You know, we've been here for seven years. Nothing new goes to Africa. Yeah, t t tell me something about the technological advancement in this country. Um, you guys are already 10 steps ahead of maybe 60% uh, of the continent, uh, Kenya. Uh, so I always say, me and a friend of mine was debating about this. If you go on the street I live on right here, you know that the traffic gets backed up around 4 or 5 o'clock. You know, yeah, car vehicles on vehicles. It's yeah. here. The traffic jam. Petrol yeah, is right. here. People have money here. The technology is here. Um, it's one of the most advanced countries, even further advanced than some states in America. So, uh, yeah, you need to look at Kenya as a first world country. And coming in Africa is amazing to see. And I'm actually here to experience it in a, uh, a great time. I have ancestors who was here during Joma Kiyata's time. So I'm actually being, get a chance to be here in, in this era. So, I mean, it's amazing, Coast Africa. It is amazing. I'm Especially when I'm drinking the KO. <laughs> I'm happy you have such a positive impression about my country and uh, Africa at large. Yeah. So, I want to know whether you have got, you, you ever get a uh, negative resistance maybe from the residents of this country? Okay. Yeah. No, I don't maybe discrimination or something? No, you don't. It, um, we, we are all Africans. We all come from many different tribes. And when you know about me, like me, all African, we grew up in an African household. We know the diversity, us, us, uh, us being African. But we all know the similarities. But um, it's nothing new. This country is just happy to see many people like myself, other foreigners, come here speaking a different language. You know, we may be also African, but we come from different nations. So I think it's just people. Um, this, uh, you know, what's the word we want to use? Just getting used to being around different, uh, you know, nationalities. You know, that's it nowadays. So I don't get any negativity. People just ask you maybe questions about where you're from, your culture, do you know this, do you speak Kiswahili? You know, I gotta say, Kuzum Gumza, you know, I gotta do my thing, whatever. But mm -hmm. that's all you're gonna get. People asking about your, you know, the difference between you and them. And a uh, majority of the time, there's it's no negativity here. It's a humble uh, city and humble country, very welcoming. You see how many cultures come here every day at the airport. You know, many people come here every day. I want to congratulate you by the you learning Swahili so fast. By oh, yeah, Nino Zoa. Nino Zoa. Mm hmm. Nino Nino Zoa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you, you better watch out, uh, Kike's out there and people in my, my Watuangu's out there because, yeah, I'm sitting up there. I think I don't understand everything. You know, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna say I understand everything, but a few of those words, yeah, brother knows. Ne never, never. And, and, and me and my brother, Tuna think the there's a magic. Yeah, uh -huh. we make a lot of magic. Magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So, Anytime you are outside the country, you are in New York. You are doing an amazing job in New York by the way. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So, do you always get that urge of coming back to Kenya? Cause, I, mean, I mean, we could say Kenya is my home. That's my home away from Liberia in Africa. But just Africa in general. Just drop me off in any African country. And we talk about it all the time. I don't care if I'm in Namibia, Morocco, Liberia, South Africa. Just drop me off in Africa. 
I, when I'm somewhere away far from Africa, of course, I get that urge is coming back. Mm -hmm. It's just because I spent so much time in Kenya, in my Liberian camp, I spent time in Liberia, even Nigeria, Morocco. But just been away from Africa. And yeah, you'll feel it. Because I'm a person who spent time here since I was a teenager. My parents are African. So, you know, I, I have to be here. So when I leave, I put so much equity in stock of being here. Yeah, so, I have, so when I leave, I, I'm still thinking about villages, the woman, I'm, I just, I, you know, the woman selling her fruit, you know, the city markets, because I see all this type of stuff for you over better. 20 years. Yeah, you know, I got 20 years of vision of, of Africa uh, to think about, you know, so yeah, I always miss it. People who don't spend time in Africa, trust me, they don't understand what I'm saying, but if you spend time here extensively, you got family in the continent like I have family, you got friends in the continent, yes, when you leave, you're going to feel some type of, you know, uh, 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 loneliness, like you, <laughs> like you haven't been back in a long time. <laughs> Liberians, they, you know, I told you, I'm coming back soon, L.I.B. But yeah, you, mm -hmm. do, you do miss Kenya, especially Kenya. Yeah. Like, you know how you know how much fun I have in this country. I, I know. So yeah, I do miss go see Africa people. I will be missing Kenya. To lives. Talking about <laughs> talking about fun. Uh, you have you have done one of the best nightlife videos in Nairobi, mm -hmm. and I know as a as a, a world traveler, you have gone to so many countries mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. so try to relate the kind of nightlife you find out there mm -hmm. and what you experienced in nairobi mm. i understand you are in uptown right yeah yes yeah yeah try to relate uh i say for me of all the cities i partied in spent time nightlife this is a top five city for me only be, and i'm not gonna see how it looks it's the people nightlife is all about the people you can have a big building, you can have a good club, you can have a great name. But if the people who come to the club, the people who work at the club, don't want to make you come back to the club, then I don't care how it looks. Every, since I was partying here my first year, it's, I don't care if it be one club you go to, you go to 10, you're going to love this. It's going to make you love this country. Amazing. It's just the vibes. People, you see the video we did the other day, the vibes. I, but I go to countries where you can't even go out after a certain time with your own people and then people know around the world what I'm talking about because they don't know how to go out and interact with each other. If, 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 if I'm coming out to my time, and your group of friends coming out to we should be like, wow, there's some people over there coming out in the city, people over there, let's all bring our vibes together and have fun. In some countries you can't do that. You come back to Africa, particularly Kenya, South Africa, these countries, even Liberia, we come to vibe. We don't come to shoot up the club. We don't come to fight people, okay? <laughs> we come to mingle with women. We come to drink our KOs and go home. <laughs> so that's what, it is one of the best places in the year to come mingle, meet people, network. If you want, you want to meet beautiful women here, beautiful women are going to be there waiting for you at the door. Africa women are beautiful. Women. You want to meet good guys who want to show your country in the club, you're going to meet good guys from this country. They'll be like, yo, come through. They're going to love you, represent their country. So this is a nightlife city. You probably, if you never night, uh, nightlife around the world, when you come here, it's going to make you nightlife. King is a place gonna make you nightlife. Trust me. You know what I'm talking about. You can be a person say I don't like the light night. I don't like the nightlife. But King is a place you're gonna have to nightlife. Have to. Cause it's too easy and it's too it's, it's just too good. It's too sweet. It's just too sweet. You're gonna have so much fun. Especially when you see our episodes of the Black Geo and go see Africa. You're gonna wanna see the nightlife here. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. It's mm -hmm. very easy to give it to you here, man. It's so easy to give you that nightlife vision. You know, cause it, you know how it is. After a protest, we go nightlife. After work, we go nightlife. <laughs> After church, we go nightlife. This is all Kenya people. <laughs> this is Kenya. <laughs> so we don't other places they don't wait. Monday, Tuesday went. And I heard some content creators come talk to Go see Africans and Black Geo. They don't know what to do on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We know what's going on on these days. Tell them Go see Africa. It don't gotta be a Sunday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. We know what's going on every day in this country. Vibes at least. Yeah, vibes. You know where the vibes is at. So. Mm -hmm. This country has everything going on every day. You could be on a Monday, Tuesday. You're just going to feel like a Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> It'll be a Monday, Tuesday. You're going to think it's Friday. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people don't know that we actually work here too. But we work and have fun in this country. It's, it's a beautiful thing. And we noted that anytime you come to Kenya, you have to start by visiting the hood. Kibera. Yeah. yeah. Tell us. Yeah. What's so good about Kibera? Well, you understand. I brought my foundation to Kibera. And they were one of the first people. Um, after I broke, I left uh, an area in America. I was working with some people. They didn't. They disrespected my foundation. They didn't think it was enough. Uh, it was worth anything. So I, I had many networks. I told you. So I, I switched that account to the Kibera uh, group team I was working with. I told you visit Kibera uh, Expeditions. These people go on Instagram and Facebook. They have their own business. When I met these guys, I told you when you come work with us, go see our Black Geo. We like to work with people who already have their business on the ground level, at least a base. They had a base level, ground level business, um, showing people around the world uh, their community. So that's how I fell in love with their business. And it, it just became a network. Uh, they just 
brought it to my network space. And then, like, you know, uh, you realize that Kibera is actually, uh, it's a worldwide place, you know? It's not just a neighborhood. You know, they do many movies in this neighborhood. It's, 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 uh, it's one of the ancient towns actually in Nairobi. So but when we go there, we make it look like it's regular. But this is a place where the big networks, you'll see many people like CBS News, Nat Geo, uh, Al Jazeera, these people. CNN. CNN, they, this is a place they go to to shoot. And we're actually there shooting on these streets. So that's what makes it big. And I tell people, y'all y'all worry about views and stuff. What You gotta watch what we're shooting. Even right now, what we're shooting right now, we're showing you. This is real footage. You probably won't ever see, all right? So it's about what we're what we capturing. We're capturing stuff in real time that you're gonna have to watch 20 years from now. Cause trust me, it, this is all legacy stuff that we, what we do here. Mm -hmm. All legacy stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be plugged in, you have to have your own networks, or you just have to be a world travel passport gang or a black geo. You know, or go see Africa member and yeah. see what we do. All right, so don't worry about the viewership that we have. What we showing you is real Africa. <laughs> it's real, and, and, and we, when we say Africa to the world, world to Africa, we show that in real time. That's what we like to do for people. I liked yeah. how you talked about mm -hmm. being accepted better in Africa. You know, I usually tell people yeah, that I, 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 I go where I'm accepted. accepted. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, when I talk about being accepted better in the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. some people are on my neck. But that's the part. Yes. You know? You, you, you make a family. A family is whoever accepts you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A family doesn't have to be your blood. No, it don't have to be your blood. Yeah, sure. No. L uh, let's give them a, a, a better view of Nairobi. Yeah. So we'll we, we keep talking about that. Um, family, a lot of people don't, do not bring family in their business. Mm -hmm. Biggie had a line like that. Uh, keep your family and your business completely separated. And you think that was bad when he said that? Yeah. Because he said it in a sweet way. Keep yeah. your family and your business completely separated. Yeah, I'm sorry, true. I missed it up. But guess what, it's real because uh, when you first start your business, anybody, mm -hmm. anybody will tell you what, if they, who was successful with their business. They'll tell you, their family wasn't the first person who uh, supported them. Mm -hmm. probably, it was probably some random guy around town or random woman, like we saw in that video on my live, a French woman yeah. standing in the middle of New York City promoting somebody's business. She's mm -hmm. not related to this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she said, yeah, that's the people who help your business grow. That's the family. Never, yeah, majority of the time, it's never gonna be your family. And I don't care if family sees it or not. They know, because family don't run in the streets with my business. Mm -hmm. No, the, the people who not related to me run in the streets with my business. Shout out to y'all, you know who you are, one is standing right here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's never gonna be your fully blood, but the people who do uh, support you in life, regardless of business or not, just yeah, helping exactly. you, just helping you. Yeah. They become family, mm -hmm. uh, we're Africans. And so, you know how it is. We grew up in households where your mother say, hey, this is your cousin. Because I grew up with his mother, y'all family, that's how it is in Africa. As we grow up, we learn people, Mr. Obama's like my brother yeah. here. He's one of my brothers here, mm -hmm. trust me. He did half the things for me, they're half of my brothers. And my brothers still ain't give me no money. Shout out to my brothers, I got three of them. Send me a check, because Mr. Yeah. Obama be stole, <laughs> Mr. Obama be throwing me mansions, people. He throwing me houses Obama. out here. Obama, yeah. we appreciate so, you. So yeah, don't worry about family, because guess what? A person who not related to me, make sure I live good in this country. Wow. Just for the love. He did it for the love, that's what I told you. So. Don't worry about, oh, family, this, uh, we love for the family being our business, but don't worry about family being your business. If they want to be in the business, cool. If not, we're going we, we to be standing on rooftops. Post it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Families don't mm -hmm. want to support. I'm going to be standing on rooftops. That's Nairobi chilling by behind myself, you. <laughs> in, in Nairobi, drinking KOs. Wow. So don't worry about it. Because your wow. family is going to be people like this behind the camera, supporting your business, people. Beautiful city there. Exactly. Beautiful city. Tell them this is right here, uptown area wow. of Nairobi. Nairobi, you know, Kenya. Many stars stay on this side of town. The green city oh, so below the sun. So let's talk about the concert creators who stay in this area. A lot of concert creators, mm -hmm. we, are, um, we, we don't want to shout out the names, but we, we, we do support your content. We know you're on this side of town. It's hard to find you guys. You guys are tucked away in these beautiful apartments here. I'm telling you people, Nairobi is the place where big time creators, even from the U.S., are here right yeah, now. Yeah, they're camping here. They're here right now. Big time U.S. creators. You, you, you thinking they're in Dubai, you thinking they're in Colombia, you know? You think they're in Brazil? No. <laughs> they're right here. They're here. They're right here in Nairobi. Yeah. I already, I know four. I don't want to give their name up because I don't want to give their business Majority always come to, come to Kenya, then once they are grown, once they have the numbers, now they start yeah. traveling. Yeah, yeah. By numbers, your first support must come from Nairobi. Yeah, they'll come up yeah. from Nairobi. And, uh, and uh, as one concert creator, who actually he's big time around the world, he travels around the world, but he, he, he even said he fell in love with Kenya, and he even said, he said his peace mm -hmm. is Kenya. Yeah. His peace is Kenya. So I tell kings all the time, when you see us foreigners, um, just look at your country like a new age US, new age Dubai. Yes, 
a lot of people moving around the world here. So King, it's not we're not stepping on your toe. No, we adding into your vibe. You see the black geo, we add into the Kenyan vibes. The Kenyans take over the black geo, they take over go see Africa. So we're all we're doing, and when I come to a country, and especially Kenya, that's like my my home now. I bring it to the vibe. What can I add to this country? That's what we did here. Uh, that's what that's what a lot of people are doing here in this country. They love this country. They love spending time here. Mm -hmm. you know, love spending time in this country. You know, yeah. you have been giving credit to some big personalities out there, the likes of Obama and all that. Mm -hmm. Then it would be so unfair if I don't appreciate you, bro. Yeah, yeah. You the one I credit for where uh, Ghosty Africa is at mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have really done an amazing job for Ghosty Africa, and we appreciate. Mm -hmm. We, we need to comment something there and appreciate this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah? Shall be from, from the Black Geo. Then, uh, to appreciate him better, you need to subscribe yeah, yeah. to the Black Geo. That's the only way Check you out see what we do. The Black Geo. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of things we do, we have a, the Black Geo is a network of business people. This the, you've seen the digital side. We, we have a real uh, thing that we, we, we have a business network. We all put our business together, we all put our ideas together. We, we, who, who can help who? at which time. So that's what the Black Jewel really is. It's just we brought it to the digital side just to convince people that we've been doing this overseas and been doing this type of togetherness work for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now they mm -hmm. see it on the Black Jewel. Now mm -hmm. they say, oh, that's what you've been telling me about. Yeah, that's what I've been telling you about. <laughs> what I've, we've been doing. <laughs> Since now they see it on the digital side. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, yeah. So nowadays, you have to, any business you do, sometimes you just gotta throw, it, like you said, you even tell me sometimes, I gotta up my social media. You got so we gotta, you know, have a, have, have a social presence now. Mm -hmm. Just to let people know that we actually legit. We're not just, you know, talking about it. Yeah. We gotta show the people. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing now. And I'm not, I'm a person, I talk about retired artists. I wasn't gonna be back on this camera with you guys, but I'm working with big time producers and they telling me that's how you supposed to promote your business. So that's why we've been hitting the ground and running, mm -hmm. you know, crazy. Yeah. You know? There is a Swahili saying that Biola Mgambo Likilia, Jua Kuna Jambo. Whenever you hear a call from uh, you are elder. You have to go running, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anytime this guy is in Africa and tells me that I'm in this and this location, I have to go running. I have to see him. Because you know, you know we're going to be in some epic locations. Exactly. There's always going to be epic locations. And uh, I always say when we come here, we don't we don't keep the camera on ourselves. You see the episodes we do? We, we, we land somewhere. Yeah, we stand on the rooftops, go see Africa people. Yeah. But we're showing you where you should be. We're not just flexing on you. We're telling you where to come where flex for yourself. Be. Yeah. So it's not, we don't, when we do our videos, we take you to places where you should be going. We don't just go there and just jump around and brag that we did. Nah, we there for a reason. You know, so when you see me in, uh, in, in Nairobi, I'm here for a reason. I'm never mm -hmm. here just to be flexing on people. Mm -hmm. You see, like you said, I, I get here, I put the video on, and I drop to the hood. Because I'm here for a reason, targeting a certain reason. Even New York City, I'm just dropping, jumping the hoods. I'm here on that certain reason. All right, so that's what we try to do and give people real structure, real content from the business that we do outside of the digital side. Yeah. It's just, we, like we said, we want to give them some entertainment, creativity to what we do. So, you know, wow. blame YouTube Amazing. people. They made it. They made us to make a TV show. Now we are part of, you know, <laughs> you know we, was, we was just going to show you the business, but we had to make a script. Yeah. All right, so yeah, when you see a lot of our videos, we're really uh, working towards getting to the show business side. We're mm -hmm. not just doing regular videos. Listen, uh, yeah. Lately, how many times do you take uh, vacation in a year? Because we have noted that you are ever traveling, you are in New York, you are in Africa, all that. Well, you got, people understand I work in a dark side business. So when I'm in certain places, work is work. my work and travel is the same thing. Even right now, where I work is where I travel. So right after working, I travel in the same you place. Travel. Yeah, so my business, and it's not just me. So I you vacation you, as you are? Yeah. It, it, a lot, it, I, the business I work in, the dark side people, shout out to the dark side people watching, we all do this. You know, we all have a business with a business, different countries. You may see us in the break room, you may see us in this country, or you may see us somewhere else doing something else, whoever, because everybody has their own ideas and own uh, opportunities going on. So, uh, even my dark side people, they watch my content, they know what I do. They know they just saw me in the break room, <laughs> it, it working, and they know <laughs> I'm standing back in Nairobi uh -huh. doing something else. So that's the thing we do in our industry. Uh, that, it's very lovable. I've been in the industry for over 17 years, and it's, it's the only industry I probably can work in last in the, in the wide Americanis because it gives me the freedom to do something else that I want to do, also. And it's it's more of a compromise. Uh, we help each other, you know. So yeah, it's a great business for me. And like you said, Black Geo is another word for world travel. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. So you can call yourself a Black Geo also. <laughs> if you want to call yourself a passport, bro, call yeah. yourself a Black Geo. <laughs> yeah, because Black But then you're talking about passport. Now yeah. we're going to have a different video, mm -hmm. a very full video about 
the passport bros. That's cool. Oh yeah, we can Ready talk about this? the passport bros. You know, and, and people, we, we, I'm, I'm, I'm older than these guys, the passport bros. But we're gonna explain who the passport bros is. We'll yeah, yeah, we're going to have that video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now after, after watching this video, you guys, you need to tune in for that next video. And the passport bros, we need to discuss about that. Yeah. And we we have a lot for you. Well, shout out to the passport bros, man. They bringing up the equity. Y'all really bringing up the prices in these countries. You know, I'm not a passport bro. I'm a world traveler, people. Because <laughs> I, I told you, I've been traveling the world since I was younger because of my family. I told you, we're from LIB, we're from Liberia. So passport bros ain't got nothing to do with me. I've been back and forth in villages since I was younger. Okay. <laughs> passport bros started from guys who got tired of women in the U.S. Oh, you want me to explain that on the next episode? Uh -huh. Should I wait? Uh -huh. I'll give it to you right now. Allow me in the video. Okay, yeah, end the video. End the video. I was going to kill you people. <laughs> you already. Uh, you can wait for this. So my name is Gossi Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. For now, have a goodbye.